Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Daily US Stocks for Friday, November the 5th and starting with Amazon here and it's nice to see it push up there and help us confirm that uh, bullish count that we've been uh, working on and um, yeah, so obviously the uh, the minor level here uh, has, you know, carries a little bit of weight so we should see a little classic trading levels pattern here a um, little bit like this really, but this is only sort of half of it had the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, then the correction, but we didn't push up again. So that's what we'll be looking for uh, in this space. Let's just check on that for... Sorry, just thinking about something else, uh, but related. <laughs> um, yeah, so when we spoke last time, I had wave one here with an A and a B and a C, but there is a case for a little five wave structure here, and uh, that is the low. So we may need to use that um, as uh, as wave one there in some regard or another. So I'll just leave that uh, there, but we don't need to uh, bother about that just yet. So what we're looking for up here is some sort of, uh, you know, classic trading levels pattern sitting here before uh, before heading higher so we can <clears throat> also look to add to the trades over this side for that or you could buy the pullback if you wanted to um, just need to be a little bit mindful uh, of things it's good to manage the risk if we can um, the exposure okay so that's that uh, let's move on to uh, Google. So uh, Google's also pushed up quite nicely here for our little third wave. Um, I don't think it's finished though. I think there is um, uh, a little bit more to go here for that. Uh, a little bit unsure, but we're still definitely not finished this run to the upside. As you can see, we've got three waves and I don't think those three waves are finished in terms of one, two, three, four, five, but um, overall the structure's not finished. Um, I'm also thinking that to um, that the 50-60% retracement level can be back uh, here at this. So I'm thinking I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to take profit um, uh, at 3,000 or slightly above if you want to work that. Um, but I don't think we should be, get stuck in this situation uh, here for this wave too. Now, the other thing here is that um, I can see that stocks like Microsoft still have further to go up. So it may be a case when we get here, um, we've got to get the top of that third wave there, that green wave three to come in, and then four, and then five to move up. Now this wave five here, you could take profit at that point. So I, I, we could work that, that's not going to be a big deal. So we can put that uh, up here on, on, on this one. Um, yeah, so three, four, five here. So once we get that fifth wave in, then, uh, uh, because what I'm thinking is this, if, if I've missed something, you know, if, 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 you know, we, I don't know, but we could be one and two and one and two and so on, but we, but I'll be all over it anyway. But if I see a setup there, we'll, we'll take it. If, you know, um, if I see any of these tops being taken out above that fifth there, we'll take, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll move back in. So I just wanted to prep you for that. That's all. But yeah, I just don't think we should go through this fold here. Anyway, we've got plenty of time to talk about this. So not a big deal. Uh, Apple now, um, well, uh, we do need to be mindful that, you know, it's not like we have support on the 150 and we're, and we're heading higher. No, we're still trying to establish support here. So there's still volatility in this market. This wave too, because it was so sharp here, also leaves the possibility of all of this move up here just being a uh, B wave with a C wave coming down for wave two and then pushing up. Uh, it can also just push up as well. So I just need to be mindful of, of that. We have talked about that before as well. So just going into the 100 ticks. So 
So we've had this as blue wave two here, but it was rather sharp, um, which is okay. Um, but uh, I just got to be mindful that we don't end up down here with a wave C. So an A wave, a B wave and a C wave down here for this. So um, once we get a classic trading levels pattern on the 153, we'll be fine at that point. So I had been counting this up here as an A and a B and a C wave to here. And we've got one little move here. So it's a good idea to take a percentage at this point. If we get a classic trading levels pattern sitting on the top of 153, we'll also move back in as well. Okay, let's move on. Let's have a look at um, <coughs> square. So, um, yeah, it's looking a little bit bearish here, I have to say. Um, but let's go in and have a look. I mean, first of all, from this point here, as I've mentioned uh, a few times, that <coughs> this wave four here is actually rather small compared to the wave four of one lesser degree from here to here. So it should be the other way around. This one here should be bigger than that one. So I've always sort of wondered, <clears throat> you know, are, are we finished here or not? You know, that's always sort of been on my mind. So I've really just been waiting for, a, you know, a classic trading level pattern set up on this, on the, uh, on the medium level here. So in a way, we've got the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and now we're having the correction here. But the correction moving down here, <clears throat> I was counting it as a as a corrective pattern, but making this new low here kind of pushes it into being a bit of a bearish pattern. So yeah, I need to be careful. I think that we're going to be looking, I can pretty much count five waves down here, and we'll look at that in, in, a, in a moment, but uh, it means we should have a rally <clears throat> and then another move down at that point. Now that could take us, you know, down further at this, at this stage. I'm not too sure, but uh, let's go in and uh, just check on it a little bit. So, um, might just bring in a bit more. Okay, so from this low here, we can look at this as one and two here, and then blue wave one and blue wave two over here. Now the next, so that's a bullish sort of count. I was also considering, can I look at all of this here as one, two, three, four, and five here? So I need to, and make that wave one up there. So I'm investigating that, but that means that we can move down lower uh, here as well for that, a bit lower down into the 240 area. Uh, the other point here is that the move from this, this low can be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave, because in a nutshell, it's really in three waves, so corrective. So then I've just been monitoring the situation to the downside, and we had our first five waves down, so we knew that we would have a correction after that, so we got our correction after that. Um, and then I've just been tracking this down here, and uh, uh, I've labeled it today as, as one and two here, and three here, and four over here and then down for five here, looking at this being the low, and then we we're looking for a setup on here. So we've got, you know, part of our setup sitting here, but we haven't got that sort of move up here. Now, um, yeah, so look, that's where we are. So it does appear that we could look at this as wave one down here, wave two here, and then one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave here and then the fourth and then the fifth wave here that looks a little bit corrective as well but we'll give that a chance and it did spike here as well so the a wave here the b wave here and the c wave right here so uh this could be down for one back for two down for three back for four and we can have uh one more move down here for this uh and then we could push up but in pushing up well you know we can trade it up but we'll have to be careful about that you know, that's the 50-60% retracement level from that high down to here. So all of this could be wave one down here and then coming back for wave two because, um, well, it just can be because we need to go lower in that case, you know. So wave two over here, copy this here and have wave one uh, down, you know, under this wave five, either, either here or here um, for that. So, look, we're not out of the woods yet with this situation. Um, but yeah, um, 
first things first, I mean, this could also just retest here and, and drop lower as well here. It could just sort of continue to cascade as well. So I can't go long here. I can go long on top of the level here because I have that price point to work with. Sure, I could use another price point lower as well, um, but I'm looking for a trend, not a day trade. So I need a bit more establishment uh, in the trend, in the structure. So if we get a pattern on here again, let's just say, um, we will go long and we'll, 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 you know, we'll take this journey up here and we'll look at the structure when we get there. And if it's, if it's positive, then we can stay with it or we can take some money off the table and we can do those things. But if it is positive, then we have a position in the right place uh, and then we can continue on our way. But I just don't think that's the case at the moment. So uh, yeah, um, it, it, to me, it's, I mean, it looks like a nice C wave here. It's like on an angle, you know? Maybe I've counted it wrong here. The only way I can count it wrong here is with that little spike in through here. But then that makes it a little bit awkward and it also makes it um, move down here further. So, yeah, anyway, the pu I've got to solve this puzzle uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I haven't solved it yet, obviously. But, um, yeah, just sharing my thoughts on it. So I don't know everything all the time. Uh, sometimes you know just things got to move into place a little bit but it, today making that low here brings in the possibility of a bearish count uh, Facebook it's nice to see Facebook uh, push up as well um, so yeah um, that low is possibly in you know but when I think of um, you know, Microsoft and Google, for instance, we haven't looked at Microsoft yet, but um, today anyway, but uh, like with Google. So if I just bring Google back up for a moment, um, let me find it here somewhere. Alphabet. So if we can imagine that this wave one topping out, so that means that we need to finish wave three off here, wave four here and wave five here. Okay, so when that's finished here, um, we'll be looking at a correction here. Now, we need to line that up with Microsoft and, and the S&P and the NASI and all the rest of it, of course. But in that time there, let's give it a you know, week or so, then in a week or so, where's this going to be? Is it going to be up into this, um, into this 50, 60% retracement level from that high to that low? It's going to be up here, isn't it? So we also need to be a little bit careful about this as well, that this is not just a B wave up here and we have some other little thing here as well with this, you know? So anyway, I, I, we'll keep talking about that, uh, but that, this is a problem area at this point. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I've got some pocket money in this myself. So, um, but even besides that, you know, um, you know, we'll, I'll just be we'll be all over it. We'll see what we've actually got when we get there. But based on that, let's just go um, and have a look at where we are at the moment with this so well that's the uh, low there and I've started counting this this could be counted this could be counted differently where it's just starting the trend in a way so uh, it, it can be counted differently I've just counted it the most conservative possible way that I can in terms of one and two and one and two here and one and two and one and two and it kind of plays out quite nicely with this powerful third wave here so we've got the third of the third of the third of the third and we get a gap you know so that's kind of it tells me that we're on the right track even though it just looks a little bit odd um, but anyway I'm just counting along so we've been counting as one and two and one two three four five the third wave ABC for the fourth and yesterday we were sort of in here somewhere with one and two and and now we're climbing uh, higher here for this so this <clears throat> we need to start labeling this as well so this is probably a little one and two in here and I'll just check on that a bit later that's okay I don't need to do that now because we whatever whichever way we look at it we're going 
we're going higher here for this and, um, and then we'll have wave four and then we'll have wave five. So it's just that 61.8% move up through here that we need to manage a little bit. Okay, so, but in the meantime, we're fine with Facebook. And Tesla, so, um, just looking at the volume uh, for this, I mean, it's good to have low volume in, in a move down here, right? In the move down here, we want we want higher volume in that move. We want higher volume in the bar that's moved up. We want lower volume in the move that went down. And then we want higher volume in this one here. And uh, this one here, this little island reversal here is also on lower volume. So um, yeah, corrective to the downside on lower volume means that sellers aren't in control at that point. So let's just go in and check on this. <clears throat> so from here yesterday, we're counting up as one and two here and then one and two. And so I'm looking at this being the third wave in here and third, fourth, and then one and two. And so we need to move up uh, here a little bit further for wave three, and then we can have wave four to move into play. That can, this wave four can move back to the previous wave four. It's always the best way to look at it as a starting point. And then you can have a look at the 38.2% and so on. And then move up into this space. So yeah. So I don't really see any problems uh, here. Um, it's good to get support on top of this level. So because that's group one there, so we've got um, uh, 1200 and then we've got 12, 10, 20 and 30. So this all makes up group one here. <clears throat> so now that that's developed there, if you wanted to, you could go long above here, but really, I mean, it's just gonna move up and, and move back on you as well. So we might as well pick it up over here for that. But the trend is still solid and still to the upside. And Microsoft, so with Microsoft here, uh, um, yeah, still got uh, more time to, uh, to reach this wave one here, but this is, Really, this is this wave one here in the S and P, and the Nasdaq, and the stocks. Uh, this is our this is our goal. You know, this is our this is what we're look, trying to figure out. Once we get to this point, the, there'll be leaders and followers. So you know, um, yeah, we just need to be aware of 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 that, um, and that's our goal. So let's move in a little further on our tick chart here. Bit of a long and winding road this one but nice very nice so one and two here so blue wave two and we're going all the way up to blue wave three here and in that blue wave three we have one and two and three and four a bit small that wave four but they're all being pretty small really um wave four and then going from wave four up to wave five and I've moved wave one from here to here. Um, and so we'll be looking for five waves up for wave three, four and five. So really, we've, and this is also group one here as well. So if you wanted to trade long here, then this is the place to do it. Um, yeah, because of that nice test coming in here. So when we look at the 30 here, you know, we had the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. I got the wave wave one wrong. I had it over here, um, but now that it's taking that low out, I need to push it there. So one and two in here, and then all of this here is the third wave to here, the fourth and the fifth, uh, and wave one and two here. So we can start building a case for the upside now. I'd need to check that as well. It might be just one, two, and three in here, but um, anyway, we start putting it together and we should see that push up a bit further 
in here. It could move quite quickly because we're in a third wave here and plus we'll be moving into Friday as well. It's always helpful in a bull market. Well, if you're in a bullish market, it helps it move along a bit. So there we are. So we should move along quite comfortably um, further to the upside here. The length of wave one here is quite nice. So uh, wave three should be longer than wave one uh, and then wave four or five. So we're going to come very close to that 350. And then we'll have wave four and then we'll have uh, wave five moving up and that will be the top. That's the top that we're looking for in the uh, in the indices as well, of course. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.